Okay, Jay Davis and Rowley Romero. Tonight, man, uh, not much of a breakdown tonight, but man, listen, there ain't much I can really say. But, you know, I don't think this fight can go the distance. Um, Rowley does have a puncher's chance, like everybody knows. Without question, people say without question that he's probably one of the strongest in the division. Um, he's definitely a hard-hitting puncher, but he has no skill. Tank Davis, on the other hand, has the power, the speed, and the skills. The best thing for Rowley to depend on is to uh, fight dirty. You know, just because you got power don't mean that's a guaranteed W. That don't mean nothing when you're fighting. That don't mean nothing when you're boxing. Um, unless you're going to get in a nice little sucker punch or something. So the best thing I say is even skill fighters have to do this from time to time. If you don't have the uh, skill when somebody can match your skill for skill or out skill more skillful than you, you have to be a little dirty. A little bit of elbows, a little bit of headbutts, a little bit of wrestling. You know, by him being the stronger guy, the taller guy, he can take advantage of it. But one thing he has to worry about is the other side of the coin by a tank being a little bit smaller than he is. Tank also can bob and weave, get down low, catch him with some pretty good punches to the body, and then come up to the head. And the thing for Tank, I believe, is that, you know, he, he better knock him out tonight because the, the longer you leave him standing up, the better chance he may have of catching you. Maybe he'll make it too rough and frustrate Tank and uh, catch him with one, complaining to the referee or something. Or just get him so upset where he let his guard down a little bit too much. That's what he has to carry out on. But Tank has everything you need to uh, go ahead and get him out of there. Both of them are knockout artists. And uh, honestly, man, I just don't see what Roley got. Because Roley can't, can't, can't match him boxing-wise boxing, boxing -wise when he got to, to do anything with Tank. So Tank really can make it a exciting, easy night for him by, you know, catching him. But we haven't seen Roley really rock, rock like that. So I don't know how strong his chin is or... How he gonna feel when he take that first big punch from Tank? Same thing for Tank too, but you know we know Tank ain't really chinny, so you know that makes the concept more interesting going into the fight. But overall, Tank is the dominant fighter, <clears throat> so we can either go two ways: either this fight will won't mount to anything, or it could be that it won't amount to nothing. The most exciting part was the talking part, which what happened at the uh, face-off and press conferences and weigh-ins and so forth. Or it can be a hell of a fight, a short fight, but a very uh, entertaining fight. Both men guaranteed fireworks. Uh, Roley actually predicted a first round knockout of Javante Davis because, like I said, he said his head too big for him to not for him to miss and not get the knockout that early. So he said he guarantees that he's gonna knock him out for sure. I don't know about the first round, but he said that's the round he's going to get him out of there. She, 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 she. Hey, you never know. Even the sunshine on the dog ass yeah, or so whatever. But uh, can he get a knockout? It's possible. He do, uh, you know, got it going on. But I think uh, his camp w was focused on specifically knocking out Tank. And I don't think that's a good thing right there either. My thing is this. If your trainer and your team is putting a pack in your back to tell you to go for the gusto in the first round and solely based it off knocking somebody out, a lot of people like hearing me say stuff like that, but man, you may want to consider switching trainers and get a new team, man, because you have to grow as a fighter, man, as a prize fighter. And if you're talking about being the face of boxing, which he has potential because he has a good social media following. People like his interviews. People just like the way he talk. He's a funny guy. 
But if you want to really be the face of boxing, let's say if he do get lucky and knock Tank out, right? It's going to take some fluky shit for it to happen. But if he do, I mean, it'll be a short reign as champion. Because either Tank will rematch him and come in and take care of business and clean it up. Or the next person next person up going to go ahead and handle their business and take the belt from him. You have to grow and, and learn how to box, man. You want longevity and a lot of success and be the next big star and, and make a lot of money. And be the face of your division, the face of boxing, and a person that people will pay to come see fight. This could be the step that's done for you, but you do have to focus on other skills eventually. So you have to take this fight serious. I hope he's just trolling and he's done more in his training camp and focused on a little bit more things than just that. And if he have, in fact, focused on more than just that, then we might see a hell of a fight all night long. You know, it may be even close. Now, that'll be a lot to talk about, and that still may lead up to a possible rematch if it's remotely close like that, but I don't see it. But, you know, he's got to learn how to do some other stuff in there besides trying to catch somebody with one big punch. Tell me your thoughts and predictions and who y'all got tonight. I'm taking Tank Davis by knockout. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. Shout out to Marlo's Corner. I'm out.